In this video, we will cover the steps needed to perform calibration for the tilt and roll measurements that are calculated by the AAT. The GPS system on the AAT never requires calibration since the GPS antennas are located in fixed positions and they cannot change. Fortunately, it is not necessary to return the AAT to sun sight should the tilt and roll inclinometers require calibration. All you need to do is connect your smartphone or laptop to the device, log in to the internal website, and choose the calibration option from the main menu. Release 4 version 2 and later firmware revisions also support calibration directly from the AAT keypad. A simple test that can be performed to determine if tilt and roll require calibration is to set the AAT on a table or fairly even surface and choose measure only mode from the main menu. Take note of the tilt and roll values, then turn the AAT 180 degrees and place back in exactly the same spot. If the tilt and roll values are opposite within plus or minus 0.2 degrees, calibration is not required. For example, if tilt reads 0.2 and roll reads 0.5, then after turning the AAT 180 degrees, tilt reads between minus 0.4 and 0.0, and roll reads between minus 0.7 and minus 0.3, then no calibration is needed. In our example, the initial readings were minus 0.5 for tilt and minus 0.2 for roll, and after rotating the AAT 180 degrees, tilt measured 0.2 and roll measured minus 0.5. Since these readings are more than plus or minus 0.2 degrees different, calibration is needed. To perform the calibration, we will demonstrate first using the AAT's built-in website, followed by using the front keypad. If you are not familiar with the Connecting to the AAT's internal website section, please review the corresponding video and then return to this video to perform the calibration. After connecting and logging in to the AAT with your laptop or smartphone, select the Tilt Roll Calibration link from the main menu, and then place the tool on a semi-level and semi-flat surface as directed by the instructions shown in your browser. Click the Continue button, and then after 5 seconds, you will be asked to click the Continue button again in order to save the initial readings for tilt and roll. You will then be asked to rotate the AAT 180 degrees on the current surface and place it in exactly the same spot. After rotating the AAT as directed, click Continue, and then, after another 5 seconds, you will be asked to click Continue again in order to save the second set of tilt and roll readings. At this point, you will be prompted to either save the new calibration settings or to cancel the calibration process. To save them, click Save, and then a pop-up dialog will appear asking for confirmation. Simply click OK, and the tilt and roll inclinometer calibration settings will be saved, and you will return to the tilt roll calibration main page. AAT's running firmware release 4 version 2 and later can perform tilt and roll calibration from the front keypad. The process is identical to the one used for the built-in website. It will be demonstrated in this video now. From the main menu of the AAT, select the tilt roll calibration link from the main menu and then place the tool on a semi-level and semi-flat surface as directed by the instructions shown on the display. Press the Next Soft key and then after 5 seconds, you will be asked to press Next again in order to save the initial readings for tilt and roll. You will then be asked to rotate the AAT 180 degrees on the current surface and place it in exactly the same spot. After rotating the AAT as directed, press Next and then after another 5 seconds, you will be asked to press Next again in order to save the second set of tilt and roll readings. At this point, you will be prompted to either save the new calibration settings or to cancel the calibration process. To save them, press the Save Soft key and the new tilt and roll calibration settings will be saved. A message is displayed when the save has completed and then simply press the Done Soft key to return to the AAT main menu. Congratulations, you have completed the calibration of your AAT's tilt and roll inclinometers. This concludes the video on how to calibrate your AAT.